heartbreaking day for a North Little Rock family after their loved one is shot and killed. The latest incident in a string of recent violence in the city. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Laura Monteverdi. Well, good evening. I'm Bob Kloss and this homicide took place this morning at the summit at Valley Heights Apartments. Gary Burton Jr. joining us now live from the North Little Rock Police Department after speaking with the family of the victim and Gary. I know this Valentine's Day will now never be the same for them. Absolutely, those were the exact words from the victim's aunt who is begging for all of this killing to stop. Just 45 days into 2024, North Little Rock has already seen four homicides. You rewind back to 2023, it was a much later date until the city saw that number of killings. I'm begging y'all, please stop the killing. A life lost on a day filled with love. Today is Valentine's Day. He's supposed to be spreading love, not hate. Wednesday morning at the summit at Valley Heights Apartments in North Little Rock, a man was shot and killed. Ain't no justice and no killing. NLRPD has not released the name of the victim, but Lovely Hudson says it was her nephew, Fayshawn Verser. Fayshawn was so precious to me. These oh young people Jesus. are dying too often over senseless stuff, senseless stuff. And it doesn't make any sense. Just two months into 2024, North Little Rock has had four homicides. This one, he was in his 20s. Plus, a 27-year-old mother and her two-month-old son were found dead on February 13th on the I-440 on-ramp from Highway 165. Also, on February 5th, a 19-year-old was killed. God didn't put them here to kill each other. That's not what we're here for. In 2023, North Little Rock didn't have four homicides until April. The numbers are higher than last year, but it only takes one number to equal too many killings. And again, I'm begging y'all, please stop to kill it. And information is still needed to solve today's apartment homicide as well as the homicide involving the mother and infant child. And we still don't know the cause of their death as the autopsy is still pending, but we will be sure to keep you updated. And if you have any information that can help lead to the arrest of either of these homicides, please give the North Little Rock Police Department a call. Live in North Little Rock, I'm Gary Byrne Jr., KRK4 News.